alive, but my light bulbs aren't because my grand littles wore them and um, they came back with a piece of um, wire yanked out. So now they don't turn on. However, they're still marvelously de decorative. Thank you, darling. You look nice too. <laughs> um, yeah, they're marvelously um, decorative still. And this is kind of how I wanted to wear them anyway. But anyway, I mean, it's from the dollar store. It's a whole dollar, right? But next year, maybe I'll get two and put one away. I don't know, because the girls really enjoyed wearing um, the antlers. One girl wore antlers and the others wore the other one wore the uh, light bulbs. Yeah, yeah. Is it still <laughs> hunting season? It must be. Y'all, story time. Okay. We ha we sit on uh, six and a half acres, or six acres, just a little over six acres. And um, a long time ago, we put in a, a path in the woods. And it's like 12 foot wide, whatever. You know, it's wide and and, I mean, it's terrible right now because trees have fallen in some storms and we got to figure all that out next year. But, okay, so seriously, I was walking back to the house on the trail and Ninja Man was behind me. And I'm telling you, you're not going to believe it, but this far from me, like maybe, maybe three feet, this Full-grown deer comes flying through the woods so fast, I didn't even have a chance to, to see what it was. And it went in front of me so fast. And I mean, I don't even know what it weighed. A hundred and something pounds? I, I think it would have hurt if it had hit me. So you know what the moral of that story is? And it's a true story. But Grandma almost got run over by a reindeer. It's true. And I asked Ninja Man, I said, did you see that? And he's like, yeah, it almost hit you. I'm going to go ahead and go down to the um, desk. My desk. I don't even know what it's called. My desk. And uh, show y'all some stuff. Okay, so here we go. Here we go. Woohoo. Okay, so here we go. Main thing, y'all, celebration, the biggest thing of the year. It starts January 5th, and that is when I can open this fabulous catalog and show y'all the freebies, okay? But I will tell you this, tonight we are going to see something that was made with this, and this is a free one with $50. It's called Heal Your Heart, and I love the script on it. And also, the mini catalog starts January 5th, and I can't open this either. Um, let me know if you do need a catalog. Okay, so let's don't forget this. January 5th, I'm going to be opening these up and showing you, um, showing you some projects. Okay, so it's show and tell time. This is just something I made with the paper pumpkin, November paper pumpkin stamps. I'll show you the stamps before I show you the little the little house. It's so cute. Okay, so these little these little gingerbready looking here we go. That looks a little bit easier to see. Those right there are what I used on this. And it's a little bird house. Isn't that cute as a button? Okay, so it's got half of a miniature clothespin as the perch and the little birds are just cut out. You can see they're just they're just cut out and kind of one of them this one is put on a little folded piece of cardstock and this one is put on a dimensional. And the birdhouse is super easy to make. Um I have access to a PDF that someone shared online and it's a free PDF. And I mean I had a great time making this and I just love birds and bird houses. I don't know why. I'll tell y'all something you may not know. Thank you, Teresa. You may not know this about me, but I love fat birds like those um those little um the little fat birds, you know, that you can buy in the store. And if they're fat, 
I want one, okay? <laughs> Typically, I'm going to buy it because I take the bottom of the little fat bird and I write whatever special occasion happened that recent or that year or whatever. And, for example, I've got one, um, I, I don't know, different things so that when I croak and go and the kids are picking up all the fat birds, they're going to look up under and go, oh, this one was when Asher was born, and this is when we went to the mountains, and this is mom and dad's anniversary. I don't do it for every anniversary because I'd have like 150 of them, right? Okay, but, <laughs> but anyway, I just write on the bottom of them, and it's just, I don't know. I don't know why I do it, but I love my fat birds, and it gives me a reason to keep them. Okay, so this was stamped and embossed. Y'all have seen me in heat embossed before. This adorable Grinch treat box um, pattern came from Confessions of a Stamping Addict.com. So cute. This beautiful card was made by my sister cousin friend Sally, who has an awesome blog. Um, this is a Tim Holtz kitty cat, and it is so funny looking. Look at him, and his little eyes are or glossy, glassy, whatever you want to call it. I love it. Um, she used, um, I think it's called Glossy Accents. Um, here we go. Hold on a minute. It, yes, Glossy Accents. She used either this or a product like it to do his eyes. And she's colored in his little light bulbs. A fantastic job on this card. And I won't open the inside because, you know, it's, it's a card to me. But anyway... Super cute. I love it. Tim Holtz stamp. This is from a friend who shared a stamp set with me that she had a duplicate of. And it was so sweet of her to send me that stamp set. And she sent me this card. Now, look at how pretty this card is. And yet it's simple. We've got stamp. We've got a uh, uh, strip here with the little fishtail or flag, however you want to call it. And then a, a square looks to be about uh, three or two and a half by two and a half. And then uh, this strip here and stamped and got some little um, embellishments on it. So cute. And I love the green background. Seafoam, it's not called seafoam, y'all. It's whatever Stampin' Up's color is. Okay, those are the two handmaids that I have. I'm going to show you this one against my better judgment. I made this one um, yesterday, and we're going to be talking about gold leaf tonight. This, all of this is gold leaf. All of this is gold leaf, okay? And it's against my better judgment because it's just not a great, perfect card. I mean, it's, I was just piddling around, and that's what I got out of it, okay? So, all right, here are some super cute cards that I got in the mail. Um, we got Charlie Brown, and everybody's singing around his Christmas tree. And look at the cute little envelope it came in. Isn't that adorable? Yeah, y'all know I, was, I knew I was going to share it because I covered up our names. <laughs> yep. So I love this. It's so pretty. So cute. Okay, and this one. Oh, this is from my friend. Um, we always say we're going to Vegas because when we meet... It's like for three hours. And, I mean, that's about how long a flight to Vegas is. Maybe. I don't know. I've never been. But this is my friend's card, and it's really pretty. It's got a bunny and some birds, a fox, a deer, another bunny. I think that's a squirrel, a moose, a bear, and a, and a deer. Oh, and whatever he is. Okay. Got this one today, and I want to share what she wrote part of what she wrote in here. It is beautiful. This is from my friend Vicki, who I sort of grew up with. Um, she's my brother's age, but I mean, we kind of played together as kids when we were little. Um, she says, Christmas 2020, we celebrate the birth of Jesus, the hope of the world. At the end of a weird and difficult year, we give thanks to God and Savior who brought us through. And she mentioned some personal things. She says, uh, we are certain God's uh, sovereign, sovereignty spared us from many more tragedies we are una even unaware of. When the world is reeling, this is beautiful. 
when the world is reeling with uncertainty, uncertainties and apprehension, we do well to remember those first words of the angels over 2,000 years ago. Fear not. Why should we not fear? The angels continued, For behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. I do want to say that kind of like Linus. Okay. And what is this good news? For God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. Because of this, she writes, oh, come let us adore him. Man, that was beautiful. That was just the sweetest sentiment, and I loved getting it. I got to fix my, my head, y'all, <clears throat> like there's any hope. Um, this is from my friend Judy. Isn't it cute? We got a lot of little glittery cards this year. Okay, we're going to make a card. All right, last week I showed y'all this card. And I do want to show you this card again, but we're going to make it, okay? We're going to make this card. It won't be exactly like that, but I'll tell you what we've got. We've got a, a, a black panel here that measures about four and an eighth by five and three eighths. And then this one here should be four, yep, by five and one eighth. So it's it's just about an eighth all the way around, okay, that's left over, all right? Just a little mat. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is I'm going to use my um, multipurpose glue for this panel because it's it's embossed. I've already embossed it. And let me tell you about this embossing. This particular folder is not available right now, but that goes to show when you see an embossing folder that has multiple uses, y'all, I like I like to use and reuse. I mean, I don't I don't like one thing for one specific task. So, a dotted Swiss folder is good for so many things. One of my um guy cards that I showed you last week with the man's suit one of the shirts were done in the dotted Swiss, and it looks great. I mean, it's not always feminine. So we're just going to put a little glue on here. Yada, yeah, cha-cha, right there. Okay, going to stick this down. And y'all know I always just eyeball it, and sometimes I'm really good at it. And sometimes I'm not. <laughs> but it's a handmade card, y'all, right? Okay. Let's see, there we go. All right, now again, because this is embossed, I'm going to use this glue. Okay, so I just put a little glue on the back and it's a dotted, um, it reminds me of Minnie Mouse and I'm going all the way to the edge with my little dotted, my little dotted dots. Okay, now you see we're hanging over a little bit. It's like when I try to put on my jeans in the morning. Oh, there's something hanging over. Too bad I'm wearing them anyway, right? Okay, so I snipped that off. Okay, now here's the fun part. The ice cream cone um, punch here. Guess who's, whose head that looks like? Uh-huh, Mickey Mouse. That's what I thought too. We're going to punch him out of this black like this. And lo and behold, we're going to punch Minnie Mouse out, too. Like that. How about that? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're done with that. We can put it back in here. I've got a little basket of, of supplies, y'all. i got a basket of supplies. Okay, hold on. I'll get rid of all this mess. Okay. Um, What did I need that for? I don't even know. Let me see. Oh. Hmm. Well, he's got he's got little pants on, so I guess I do need that back. Hold on. He's got little pants. So what we're going to do, we're just going to go a little ways into this Mickey Mouse head or ice cream cone, whatever it is. Um, I probably am not supposed to say Mickey Mouse. I don't know. I don't know. We'll call him Bubba Mouse. How about that? Bubba Mouse. Okay. We're going to need this, and we could make his little pants dotted, but I don't think so. I think we're just going to do them red. And y'all, I made this card for a friend because she is a Disney fanatic, and I'm always sending her little Disney things that I see, 
and I was like, she has to have this card. So I, I up and made it for her. I up and made it. Y'all, if this falls off my head, it's just the way things are. That's it. Okay. So I'm going to use this old punch. Now, here we go again with products that you see in the catalog and you're like, I could use that a dozen ways. Well, let me show you a different way than just a heart, y'all. You go like this, you get a heart, and you go like this, and you get a heart. That's two hearts. I just did math. Okay. Um, we're going to use, we're going to use. Um, okay, I can't get too excited over here because it makes my head fall off, my antlers fall off. We're going to use a glue dot and my bum, 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 scary dental tool. I'm going to kind of fold my little glue dot a little bit. Y'all see how I'm doing this? There we go. See? Oh, hang on. Let me see if you can see that. Uh, a little bit, yeah. Okay, I'm going to just stick this little glue dot right here on the end of this heart. Then I'm going to take this one. Y'all think it's just a heart, don't you? Mm -hmm. Well, nope. It's it's a bow. It's a Mickey Mouse, a uh, Minnie Mouse bow. A Bubette. She can be Bubette because he's Bubba. Bubba Mouse. All right. Here we go. We're going to put his pants on before he gets to meet her and get her bow on because that would be rude. If these news flashes don't quit coming up here, I keep getting these little news things. Um, I've got an iPad right here in front of me, the one that's broadcasting my face. And then I've got a cell phone that way that's broadcasting my desk. Okay, so he's got his little pants on, and here she goes. She's going to have her little her little bow on and here we go like this all right we're gonna put her little bow on like this uh oh there we go all right now I would put like a little something there because it's a little bumpy but I'm not gonna worry about that tonight I am not I am not um, who wants to see some heat embossing? I mean, I've done it before, and I don't have to do it because I got one finished, but I would like to show you if you want to see it. Okay, so we are going to pop this up on dimensionals. And this is the, I used the, um, stitched circle dies. You see the little stitching around it? So cute. We're going to pop it up on dimensionals. Boop. And, uh-oh, it's got me. Now, did y'all see that? I keep promoting this nail polish, although I don't sell it. But look at this. This is that Color Street stuff. I've had a Band-Aid on this thumb every single day. And I took it off for tonight because it's not that bad. But when I, I've got a little, a little bit of a wound and it, um, it hurts at night, so when I'm trying to sleep. But anyway, I put a Band-Aid on it, and um, I'm telling you, I have pulled Band-Aids off, and this this nail polish just stays on, y'all. It just stays on. I don't know. I did redo this one. We will do the heat embossing. Um, yeah, so, yeah, so I had to redo these because this one, I don't know what I did. I looked down one day, and it was halfway gone. I'm like, well, was I with my finger all day long? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to put a little dot here and a little dot here. And he is going to hang off a bit. So I'm just going to put a little piece of a dimensional, kind of like this. Don't forget, you can use those sides of your dimensionals. Wow, on the Color Street thing. I know, I know, a band aid will not pull it off. I mean, it's crazy. I'm, I'm sold, y'all. I've never had a manicure, okay? Think what you want, but I'll tell you what. Mama got an infection in her nail one time that was um, legit. Let me just say that. And, of course, Mama's passed away, but not because of the infection. I'm not meaning to be funny, but that was kind of funny. Anyway, um... <laughs> Yeah, mama, mama got this infection in her nail, and I've never, I'm not that kind of girl, you know. 
And I do have a cousin by marriage who does nails all the time. And she told me whenever I want to have them done, I can go to her. And if I ever did, um, I would. I would go to her. But um, but no, I'm, I'm just not, not doing it. Okay, so I was running my mouth, and I did not put anything up under her head, okay? So we're going to stick something up under there because we don't want her head falling off, do we? No, that would be rude, especially since she and Mickey just met on this card. They just met, and here she goes losing her head. <laughs> oh, come on. Seriously? Seriously. There we go. Okay. Boom. So far, so good. Now... We have a, a little bit of bling to put on. Let me see. Now, the card that I was going to show y'all, she's got um, a, a less interesting bow there. Um, but there is a little dot in between, so I'm going to put that on there. He's got a couple of dots on his fannykins. I'll put some on there. And you see, oh, it's got a little bit different. Oh. It's actually um, chocolate ice creams, but we're not doing ice cream right now, are we? Mm -mm. Nope, that's what I was saying. We're not. Not doing it. Okay. Whew. Okay, so here we go. I'm just going to put some red dots. I'm going to chase them around first. Come on. Get on there. Okay. <laughs> I'm using my scary dental tool to pick them up, but look how rude. Look how rude they're being. There we go. And, you know, I've said before, you want you want an odd number. It's just like doing making flowers. You, you want three, five, seven, something like that. Okay, and I think I'll put a couple of little dots on his fannykins right here. I'll put one, like buttons. The little buttons on his pants. Pants. And these are kind of goldish color, but they're, they really need more yellow, I think. So let's try this. I know this is an orange, but it will probably come out as a yellow a little bit. I don't know. We'll just color them with some alcohol marker. And I'll tell y'all, you know what I wish I could do? I wish I could have all of y'all in my studio. There he is with his little alcohol marker looking thing. I can't know what's on his ear. All right, now she gets a big one on her bony head. On a head. Right there. Right there. Okay. And then we're going to put a bit. We'll put a big one. We'll put a big one down here. Um, because right now I got an even number. And didn't I just say? Didn't I just say? I did. Hold on. Here we go. Okay. So, so far, so good, right? Look at her little bow. Isn't that cute? Oh my word. Okay, and the fact that I'm showing it to you from a picture means I didn't design this. I'm just making it. Okay, so now we are going to do some heat embossing. We'll put him over here for a minute. Her. We'll put them. Okay, my heat embossing set is, is right here. This is what I keep it in. Um, I've got a, a bin behind me with all different um, colors that you can heat emboss with and different products. But typically, I use this to bring it from the box to me. Okay, this is the heat embossing powder. This is white, and I wrote 18 on there because I wanted to know how long I had it. And, I mean, it lasts forever. I've got, I've got heat embossing powder that's probably 15 years old. True story. It's almost old enough to drive, almost. Um, and this is Stampin' Emboss Powder, and it's white, and we do sell white Stampin' Emboss Powder. And I'm using a little um, cupcake muffin paper thing. This we do not sell anymore. It's called an embossing buddy. And all it is is this little pillow thing full of we don't know what. It could be cornstarch. It could be baby powder. I have no idea. It, I haven't tasted it. So I can't say it's cornstarch, but I, I can tell you it doesn't smell like baby powder. It doesn't have a smell. So what we do, we rub it. I've got a clip on mine because my hands are very uh, susceptible to drying out, which is why I wear a band-aid right here. Um, but it removes static electricity off of your project so that you can, um, so that you can 
emboss it and not have a bunch of flakes going around. Okay. All right. So this is called Versamark. This is um, water watermark stamp pad. But it's also like a little bit of a glue kind of a thing. I'll show you something. I show you something cool. Oh, let me move this because I've already powdered it. Um, we will use, we are going to use this one here. This is the set that I'm getting the sentiment happy birthday. See how it looks kind of Disney-ish? It's called a grand kid and it's, um, I think it is in our, I think it's in our holiday catalog. I'd have to look. I should have looked at that before. I'm trying to really know what I'm talking about this time around, y'all. Okay. i got to get me a little block. I'm going to put this on here. I'm just going to show you Versamark. Basically what it is, it is... It provides a watermark. You see, you can barely see that. Okay, so it will dry just like that. Now, imagine this being just flowers or leaves or vines or something like that or whatever you want it to be. Um, that would be on the outs on the that will be in the background of your card. Here we go. Uh, there we go. See, it, it's even better on color. Okay, so that's one use of Versamark. But tonight, I'm just going to do that. Just go ahead and get it done. You can never have too much embossing, buddy. Uh-oh, that's not what I want. I want this one. Oh, my word, I almost messed up. This is the one that says happy birthday. I'm just going to put it right here. Okay, I'm going to look at it, make sure it's all good. It's all good. Close this guy up because we don't want him to attract any unwanted things such as powder. I'm going to sprinkle it over the happy birthday. And I'm going to put it in here, thump it a little bit. Now you see what that looks like now? Okay. I like the happy birthday sentiment made need that one. Yes, it, it's a cute, cute sentiment. And I was very surprised to find it. And it's in the stamp set called A Grand Kid. Oops, look what I did. Always, this is the first thing you do is put this stuff back in there because it will make a hot mess. Now, I want to show y'all something cool. Um, besides the whole embossing thing. This is a little vacuum I might have shown y'all last week, but I'm telling you what. It gets every little piece of glitter, every little, not that I use a lot of glitter, y'all. I don't. But it gets the glitter, it gets all the stuff off my desk, and I love it. Okay, so I have to be quiet for a minute while I um, heat emboss this. It's plugged in behind me. This is just a heat emboss. It's got two settings. One is a low and one is a high. We always heat emboss on high. Is that not the coolest thing? A couple of things. I definitely got too close, but I couldn't see what I was doing because I was trying to show y'all. And, okay, that's it, I guess. I got too close. But that's okay. You can heat from underneath. You can heat from above. Typically, I'm not even over my desk. I'm typically leaning that way and just heating it kind of into the air. Your paper does get hot, so you want either a long piece of paper or you want some sort of something to hold it while you heat emboss because it, it can get a little crazy. Okay. All right. We're going to use my mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. Um... I wish they'd named it something much simpler, but they didn't. They didn't, y'all, so I have to call it that. Okay, but I can tell you this. I showed y'all last week, but I'll show you again. It's got a three and a half inch opening there. And um, I put a bunch of stickers on mine to know what plates to use because, hey, I don't want to think. I just want to play, all right? 
So let's see, I'm gonna cut this out like this. Oh dear, look what fell on my head, y'all. Look at my head. I'm gonna leave it right there. <laughs> okay, hey, we gotta have fun where we can, right? I mean, it's like on my, right on my, between my eyes. I'm telling you, it's hard to be me. Don't even try it. Do not try this at home. Okay, now I'm going to line this little front. Oh, all right, sorry. These are called Tasteful Labels. They sold them in the, uh, the holiday catalog. Um, they were actually in the Halloween section. I want to say it was this, this catalog that's live right now. I'd have to check. If anybody's interested, let me know and I'll check. But they were actually Halloween things. But hey, I love the fact that I can use them all kinds of ways. So I have to look at it to get it good and straight. Angela, I think of you every time I use this washi tape. The only reason I'm using this beautiful washi tape is because I'm too lazy to get up and get the other one. <coughs> Boop. <laughs> now the yellow one's hanging. Okay. We'll see how long this thing lasts on my head, y'all. What do you think? See why I'm such a cheap date? I'm serious. Okay, so I got my little my little one, a one, and a two, and a two. It's supposed to be one, two, three, but it's not. It's not, y'all. It's one, two, two. All right, we're going to put it right like this. Uh-oh. Okay, all right. And I am just going to feed it through. Can y'all hear my dog crying? I don't know why he is. He does it every single night of our lives. Apparently, he's pitiful and starving and cold and hungry and wet. I don't. I have no idea what's wrong with that dog. I am interested. Tags are one of the most versatile things. Yes, they are. And oh my goodness, there is a tag set coming. <laughs> Y'all, I'm going to keep wearing my, my little lights. I am. I'm not taking them off. Um, ta there is a tag set coming that is so cool. You can. St I can't even look at myself when I'm talking. It's too funny. But there's a set coming, and it's like one stamp with a ton of sentiment sentiments. Not really a ton. They don't weigh them. But it's a bunch of sentiments. i got to move it. And... Um, Okay, and oh, hey, Karen, it's it's getting a little crazy up in here. Anyway, it. <laughs> it's a stamp full of sentiments, and there is actually a die that lines up with all the sentiments, y'all. And you run it through one time, and you got all your sentiments. You can do them in different colors if you want. It doesn't matter. You do what you want to. That's always my favorite thing is to do what I wanna. Uh-oh. I see things are getting a little, a little crazy over here. Here we go. All right. Hey, Michelle. <laughs> that hat is a trip without a suitcase. <laughs> it's a trip without a suitcase. <laughs> I should have brought carrots. Yes, you should. And this light just keeps... <sighs> anyway. If y'all were late getting here, you missed my grandma got run over by a reindeer story, and it's a true story. Okay, so I kind of thought this looked a little Disney-ish, okay? All right, so we're going to put that there, but we're also going to pop it up because it deserves all the popping. I tell y'all what, would y'all just put another quarter in the internet because I need to get paid for this mess tonight. <laughs> just insert it over there on the left. Mm -hmm. All right, hold on. <laughs> This thing is like dangling over my eyes. Okay, but it's all right. It's all right. Hey, we do what we have to do. It might be a whole week before I get to wear these again. Or maybe I should wait till next Christmas. I can't breathe, Gabby. You're too funny. <laughs> Laura, the things you and I did. Oh, girl. One day, one day we're going to sit down and talk about it. Let, let me find, you know what I did not do was put the card bottom, but y'all get the idea right here. This is the idea, and this is the punch that is supposed to be ice cream, y'all. Look at that. 
Look how stinking cute. So my friend who loves Disney, I had to send her this. And um, I hope she's not listening. But um, anyway, she, she should get that in the de next day or two. Okay, so there's that. All right, we got a little bit more to go. Put him over there. Put all of these guys over there. Okay, now. <laughs> Hang on. Whew, okay. Whew. Being attacked my, by my own hat. I mean, like it's going like this. It's just doing all the things. It's got no respect. All right. <laughs> now we're going to talk about something that's a little bit scary. Bum, bum, bum. Gold leaf, y'all. Let me tell you why it's a little scary. Um, I posted on a private Stampin' Up! group and I asked if anybody else had had this problem because my a couple of my friends, one in particular who's on here tonight, got her gilded gold, no, gilded leafing embellishments in in her Stampin' Up! box, okay? And it's in a container a little bit bigger than this one, all right? Hard plastic. Well, guess what broke during shipping? And it got inside and outside of every nook and cranny, and she had some stamps, and it got inside her stamp. But anyway, all that happened. Um, this is the one friend that's on here tonight, and I cannot name any names. Everybody's innocent until proven gilded. Cheers. Okay, but so I bought a tiny one from, from another store, okay? I bought a tiny one, and I've been playing with it just to see do I love it. Y'all, I love this stuff. I love it. And if Stampin' Up! can send it in, like, like put this thing into a Ziploc bag so that when it does explode among uh, upon shipping, that, um you know, it doesn't get into everywhere. But I, I asked on this group, did anybody, you know, does anybody know if they're going to change their uh, shipping policies? And, of course, nobody answered that question. Nobody. Nobody. What they did say was, I didn't have trouble with mine. I didn't have trouble with mine either. And it goes on and on and on how everybody didn't have trouble. But then a couple of people sympathized with the whole situation because I'm living in fear of the gilded. And they feel bad for me. So I'm like, okay, well, at least I got some sympathy out of it, right? But no, um, most people are not having a problem with it being shipped. For that reason, I might take the plunge. But it's going to be a little while. So we are going to have this in our next catalog that I can show you on the 5th. Tonight, I'm going to show you how we can use it. We're going to start by me showing you a card. All right. Now, this card is from the Heal Your Heart. I can't believe how beautiful this font is for a free set. I mean, of course, it's with a $50 purchase. But boom. Right? Okay. Um, this is the card I made with that font. Now, I want to know if y'all like the card, love the card, be honest. Um, unless you just hate the card, then you should lie every bit, okay? But, <laughs> but here's the thing. I have a little gold strip inside. I've got a gold, uh, background here, layer, then black, and these are all stitched rectangle dies. As you see, it's all stitched. And it just goes one, two, three, four, five layers. And then these guys here are from its um, specialty paper. Oops, let me see if I can do it this way. Yeah, specialty paper. As you see how gorgeous gold it is, called Forever Gold Laser Cut Specialty Paper. It's $15, and you get... Um, six sheets, three each of two single-sided designs. And they're white on the back. They're gold on, you know, the front. But I'm telling you, y'all, you can, you can use these, the, you can turn them over, use the white side, color them. I mean, the possibilities are endless. And I just used a little bit, just a few. But, okay. These are from the Designer Series paper, all right? These are just some little guys I had laying around, the little, um, whatchamacallits. This is the gold gilding right here. 
and I'm going to show you how I did that. Okay. So, I've got my little gold in here. Whew. I'm already nervous. Already nervous. Let me see how I'm doing this. Um, how did I do? Oh, I remember. I remember. Please hold. I was doing this. I've been in my studio since about 4 o'clock this afternoon. That pack is stunning in person. It is, Karen. It is absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely. And I had not bought it. I was just like, nah, I don't think so. But then I, I was like, mm, no, I need this. Okay, so this is a stencil. I'm sorry, I didn't tell y'all that. Hold on. Okay, oh, don't y'all... Mm, let that sit over there. This is a stencil. Uh, again, this is retired. I'm sorry, I don't have any new stencils to show you because I've bought all the stencils I'll ever need, I think. But I will show you in here. We do have some that are gorgeous. I call them stencils. Stampin' Up! calls them decorative masks, and that's these. You get two per pack, and let's see what it says about it. Basic pattern decorative masks right here. Create textured backgrounds in four styles. Use with embossing paste and palette knives. Um, you can apply color by adding ink with sponge daubers or stamping spritzers. Well, guess what else you can do, people, my friends? I'll show you. You tape it down with your too pretty. You shouldn't be using the prettiest washi tape ever. And you use your Versamark. We talked about that earlier tonight. And I'm just going to just do some. Okay? There we go. Just, just some Versamark. Now, I have this heat and stick. Okay? This is a heat and stick powder. We're going to use it just like an embossing powder. And when I'm done with it, it's going to make it sticky. Okay? All right. And we're going to use our little embossing thing. Now, you know what I did not do, but I don't think I needed to, um, was use my little embossing buddy. I don't think I need to. Oh, let's do this. Let's take this off. Hmm. Did it go on there, y'all? Oh, yeah, it's on there. Okay. It's hard to see when it's black. When it's on black, I may not have put enough. We'll see. If not, I'll flip it over. And we'll do something different. Let me just look at that and see if it... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. See? Yeah. Okay. So, apparently it doesn't take a heavy hand at all to get this um, Versamark on here. So, this, when it's, um, when it's heated, it's going to be glue. Sort of. Not like sticky, yucky glue. Okay. So, you see that? I'm going to just... I just dumped it with my fingernail. I see a little bit here that could use just another bit of love. A little bit more love on it. There we go. Um, this is totally worth it, y'all. Hang in there. Hang in there. We're going to get this done, and you are going to be like, what? And be like, Kathy, I've got to order this. And I'll be like, okay. Because it is un. Believable how gorgeous. All right, I'm going to move these guys out of the way. Say bye. Okay. <laughs> oh, and by the way, yes, I will need to wash my, um, my little mask, my stencil that I use. I will have to wash that. Okay, here we go again. We're going to use the heat embossing tool on high. I'll be quiet while it melts. Okay, unlike the embossing powder, this stuff melts clear. See? Okay, all right, so we've got this, and basically it's glue, so all I'm going to do is put my gold... I can't, I can't talk at it because it'll blow away. <laughs> put my gold leaf on, and then I am just going to... There's some really big pieces in here, y'all. I'm just going to cover my little glue parts like this. Okay, who's going wow? Who? Who is going wow? I can hear it. 
I hear this is a wow, like crazy wow. Look at this so far. Now, I, yes, it's a mess, but we're not done. We are not done. All we need is a good stiff paintbrush and we're just going to brush over it and I mean you don't have to do it hard you just got to get it off of there because it's not gonna look it's not gonna look lumpy and all that junk it's you just brush it off where the parts are sticking up and I'm telling you, now this is not a beginner craft, but it's not that hard to do. I was real messy with mine, and really I should have used my embossing buddy first, but you see the result. I mean, is that not stunning? Midas touch, exactly. We're gonna look at a couple of other ways to get gold leaf on that is very special. Let me dump this into here. Sorry, it's going to block the camera. It's a bit messy, but hey, look at that. Quick clean up and then get my little bug out. <laughs> okay, we're going to clean that. Now we're going to clean this. I mean, this thing here, I got it on Amazon. It's just a desk vacuum. I showed y'all this one time before, but if anybody needs more information, let me know. Okay, so now we are going to do this. I'm going to show you. I have not done this before. I've only seen it done, but I know it works. We're going to do three of the large or the regular sized Stampin' Dimensionals. Here we go, they're just babies. See, they're just little babies, they're so cute. Okay, we're gonna put one there. Now, if you think about ways to use this, it could be like a celestial thing. I mean, you know, I don't really know. I've never been to outer space. Well, there was that one time in the 70s. No, no, I really haven't, no. <laughs> All right, I'm sitting in Culver's with my husband. Oh, hello, Cricket and Hopper. Oh my goodness, Cricket and Hopper. Congratulations to them. They have a new son-in-law, the second new son-in-law this year. Daughter got tired of one. No, I'm teasing. Sisters, one got married earlier in the year and one got married um, Saturday. Yeah. And, okay, I'm just sticking this, this gold leaf on my dimensionals, right on them, okay? And here we go. Here we go. We are just going to brush them away like this. I don't think I'll take time to do all of them, but I'm going to just give you an idea. Well, I will, too. I'll just do it real quick. Hold on. Please hold. Please hold. Okay, and... um. If you want to order this, you can we, we, you can start ordering. Unless, if you're a demonstrating order now in a pre-order. But if you are not, if you're one of my customers, you can start ordering this on the 5th of January. And just uh, keep in mind, you know, they're, I'm hoping they're putting them all in little zipper bags because, you know, I would hate for, uh, for them to explode in transit, but... You know, I, I'm telling you, I think it's worth it. It's worth the the shot. So you would clean these up a lot more, you know, just kind of like get all the extra pieces off. But no, Cricket and Hopper's daughter got married, and y'all, it was absolutely, the pictures are absolutely beautiful. Had to go Christmas shopping, y'all, at checkout, I guess, 315 guests. 285. What do you think it was? Oh, I guarantee it was 315. You got the gold leaf. I did not get the Stampin' Up one Cricut. I got the, um, there we go. I got the, I, I got a different one from the big store, the big box store. 
just because I wanted to see if I loved it enough to get it, and I do. I mean, like, I need this in my life, you know. I, I was very hesitant. Um, but, yeah. But, you know. Okay. Now we are going to do the Terran tape. This one's a little cleaner. We're going to use the Terran tape. Now, what I want you to imagine is if you wanted to do something with a bunch of stripes, okay? You're going to do, I don't know, a few stripes across your card or your tag. Okay, there we go. We're just going to peel these off, and all this is is called tear and tape, I think, or tear, tearing tape. I don't know. I think it's tear and tape. Tear and tape. Okay, we're going to sprinkle some of these guys. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. See, see what I'm saying? Not a whole lot of discipline in this stuff. It weighs nothing, and you cannot sneeze, and you cannot... There's a lot of things you cannot do while you're playing with this stuff right here. All right? You have been warned. But let me tell you, it is gorgeous. I've spent a good bit of time getting myself acclimated. Look how gorgeous this is. And really, if I took more time on the Stampin' Dimensionals, they might be this pretty. All right, hold on. Imagine a military card, like if, if somebody gets stars and bars or whatever i i'm not i've never been in the military i don't know okay look at that is that gorgeous look at the shinies okay we're not done all right here we go we're gonna put happy birthday right here and notice i did not i didn't do this oh well we're gonna have a little bit of a mess but that's okay i'll show you real quick how this is gonna look can't find the lid. Okay, here we go. We'll see how good we do. Not bad. Okay, so that's the heat and stick powder. But I did knock some of it off. We'll see how good I did. The heat and stick powder, it does uh, work faster than... Um, it works faster than, than the embossing powder does, but you don't want to overheat it. Oh boy, did y'all just see that? This thing flipped on me. Ugh. Anyway, um, Karen's talking about her gold leaf. It, it went everywhere, y'all. It went everywhere. All right, where's my brush? Here it is. Okay, so we are just going to clean this up and... Feel free to go, what? Because it is that cool. It is that cool. Now, it's my fault the bee did not do all the way because I missed getting some Versamark on it. Look at that. Is that adorable? Okay, so... Typically, you would clean it up a lot better, you know. But I'm just saying. I hope I'm giving y'all a good idea. If you want me to slow down, I will. But we're almost we're almost out of time. And I say that because I just don't want to keep y'all too long. I watch one of my um, favorite demonstrators. And she might go an hour and a half. And you know what? I'm happy. I'm just, I'm just happy to be there. So I just keep watching. But y'all, I, I don't know who wants to go longer and who doesn't. So I'm going to, one more thing, and I will wrap this up. We are going to do a glue dot. Okay? Glue dot right here. I know, we, we used to buy our kids Christmas, and I would save the whole year when I worked for Coca-Cola. I would save the whole year. And... All for it to happen at one day, one time, and then, you know. Back then, we didn't have Amazon, y'all. It was like you get to the store at the mall or wherever. Oh, I'm sorry. These are glue dots. Right here. Um, and I'm just going to put a little bit on my glue dots. 
How crazy is this, y'all? Now, you, you, just got, you just got to really appreciate how clean these get. How pretty they get. Look, look at that. We could have done that with Mickey Mouse's, or rather Bubba Mouse, Bubba Mouse's little buttons on his butt, couldn't we? We could have done that. Let me find him. Where'd I put him? Here he is. Look at that. We could have done right there. Little Bubba Mouse could have had his little britches on with gold dots. Okay, and then we just keep dumping it back in here because it's the gift that keeps on giving. Now, this is messy because I'm doing it live and I'm not taking my time and yada yada, but look at all the goodies. What do y'all think? What do y'all think of the gold leafing? Um, it's called uh, Gilded Leafing Embellishments. I, I keep wanting to show you out of the catalog, but I'm not, I'm, I can't open it yet. And you see this technique here is what I used on the background of this. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay. Um, yeah, Lisa loves the gold gilding. How about anybody else? Because I'm telling you, I was not going to do it. Not going to do it. But I did it. And I'm so glad I did. Oh, dear. Look at, look at my... Cricket, when I saw that picture, I was like, seriously, that is amazing. Another order, right? Look, uh, my antlers. Hey, it's slipping, y'all. It's slipping, but but it stayed on. Okay, so Teresa says beautiful on the gold gilded or my antlers. I'm not sure, but I think she's talking about the gildens. <laughs> and let's see, um, stencils. I showed you the stencils in the big catalog, and there's so many ways to use them. Go to um. I, j I want some just because the container of it is pretty. Oh, yes. Here's the thing about it. The container. When you go, when you order that stuff, let me, let me tell you. When you order that gold gilded stuff and it comes in the container, and Karen is, is a witness, but I saw it on video. Shelly and her daughter, Sarah, Shelly used to be the CEO of the company, when they opened their gold gilded flakes, or it's called gilded leafing embellishments, um, like they said, it, open it in a shoebox, like set it down. Like what I did, I set my little one that I bought. It's just, it's a tiny one and it's not going to last long. I set it down in here and I opened it because, um, because it, I thought it was just going to, you know, like theirs did. And you can't sneeze around it. There's all kinds of things that you cannot... Uh-oh, there, there we go. There's so many things you can't do. Um, Jan, yes, it used to light up. Okay, it's really a necklace. It's not supposed to be on my head. And it's supposed to be straight, but it's already starting to fall apart. You need to patent your antlers. <laughs> they need more than a patent. <laughs> what I need is a strip of Velcro on my on my bony head to keep them. But, okay, so the light bulbs used to light up, okay? They were like, they had three settings. This is before the grand girls got hold of them, okay? Because now they're just sad little bulbs to hang on the antlers. But the little girls got hold of them. And before that, you could, it, it's from the dollar store, so you know it's good quality, right? So you, you click here and, and, it, and it just, flashes slowly. That drove me a little crazy. Now, people like me, it's a short trip when you go crazy. You're halfway there. You've already packed your lunch. Your foot is on the gas pedal, okay? All right. So then it had another setting that you click, and that's when the Agent Orange just flares up. And I, no, no, because it's going flash, 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 flash. No, no, no. So I had it on the steady one that was just... It was just lit up. And I'm like, okay, all right, I can do that. So I wore it on one video where it was just lit up. And then I went to put it on today. There was a wire hanging rather sadly off of it. The girls didn't mention a wire came off. And these are my very nice dollar store light bulbs. They were a dollar. I said, how much is this? And they said a dollar. I said, all right. So I'm 
I should have bought two for two dollars. Right? So, because then I would still have, oh, and the antlers were a dollar also. So, okay, that's, that's all my stories and I'm sticking to it, y'all. My antlers look like they've tied one on, don't they? You should have bought three, one for each granddaughter and one for you. I would, but when you buy the granddaughter something, it ends up in the floor. It does. Even if it's dollar store. I mean, like, that's where they're going to keep it. And they're going to be like, we don't know where it is. Yep. <laughs> but yeah, I should, I should get them some. Um, maybe they'll be, on, <laughs> maybe they'll be on sale <laughs> for maybe 99 cents. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. That was funny. That was funny right there. All right. Well, this is how I'm feeling and it's 2020 and Lord knows we're ready for 2021 and I got one more video until next year. That'll be next Tuesday night at 8 o'clock. So I'm looking forward to seeing y'all. And thank you so much for coming. I hope you learned something new. And um, comment below if you love the gold gilding stuff. 50%. <laughs> hey, Marilyn, maybe I can take these back for a refund. I'll spend about $1.20 on gas. Plus tax. Plus <laughs> tax. I'll go to the dollar store and say, what's on sale today? <laughs> and rattle my coins. <laughs> love you, Cricket. Um, love all of y'all. Thank you so much for coming. But let me know what you think about the gold stuff, all right? Because it was a big decision. All right. God bless. Y'all have a wonderful Christmas. Ours will be quiet. We're going to be right here avoiding COVID. Love y'all. Mean it. Toodles. Bye.